I think I went to my first soccer practice when I was six or seven years old. I actually, I was always um, skiing too. So I was always like skiing during the winter time and then played soccer during the summertime. And then uh, when I was like um, 15 years old, I just um, picked soccer and um, practiced soccer since then. <laughs> Yeah, I did do a lot of sports in high school. I tried to be involved with everything I could be. My main difficulty in choosing was between hockey and soccer. I played hockey competitively um, all the way up until probably the year before I decided to um, go uh, for a scholarship for soccer. Um, and I was actually looking for at scholarships for hockey as well, and I just couldn't decide between the two, but then I felt like I'd have more success within soccer. I think it's always been my dream to play soccer in America and go to school and be able to play soccer while getting a good education. And I think it was when I was like 15, I got picked for the U16 in Iceland. And that's where I got really excited about playing soccer and uh, seeing where that could take me. I decided to come to the States because it's a lot more popular. Um, within Canada for scholarships and stuff, you can't get a full ride scholarship within um, your schooling system. It's more so academic based. Um, we came to a lot of showcase tournaments within the States over the years of me playing back in Canada and we traveled all around here and um, I just really, really seemed to enjoy it. Probably the most shock was the temperature. <laughs> it's really warm here, really humid, so that takes some time to get used to just um, practicing in that kind of heat and uh, playing all these games. But then again, I wasn't complaining because I was away from the snow. So. Certain times we had to shovel the snow off the field before we could train sometimes because it was so bad. But then it's also a different environment. It's different um, because we practice a lot and all the girls have kinda are going to the same direction. Everybody's in school, everybody's playing soccer. So the team is really um, combined and really tight. I don't think there was really like much difference. The only thing is, is like I miss my family. Like I know my dad was at every single game back home. I know he still watches every game through like online and stuff and he comes down whenever he can. But that's like the main thing is just missing my family and friends. It was hard at first, but like I said, it's really good to have the girls on the team and they've been really supportive. And I think they sometimes feel I'm quite strange <laughs> being the most like foreign person on the team. Columbus is also, everybody's really nice and like you say, the Southern hospitality and um, also the school is, the campus is um, not too big for me so I don't get lost too much. <laughs> so it's comfortable and all the teachers are so nice and the coaching staff has been really helpful so they've made my transition way more easy than it should be. <laughs> I've definitely, like, I'm more able to play other positions. When I came in here, I was always outside back, and Coach Jay moved me to play center back and then recently center mid. I'm really proud to be taking on a leader position with on the team, so throughout the years, I've um, been able to step up into that position this year, and I really hope I'm able to lead our team to win a national championship this year.